Change your mindset. Change your life. Connie Mendez's two-word manifestation technique. Transformation and personal growth are pivotal aspects of human existence, and the power of creative words cannot be underestimated in achieving these goals. The intentional and purposeful use of the phrase I am holds immense potential to revolutionize one's life, as it is believed that the universe itself responds to these words in kind. In metaphysical teachings, I am is regarded as the very name of the Creator God, the source of all creation and existence. As such, it is no coincidence that humans are said to be created in the image and likeness of the Divine, imbued with the power of I am to manifest and shape their own reality. Our Higher Self, which is the Divine Presence of God within us, allows us to be in communion with the Divine. When we become aware of this Divine Presence, we are in harmony with the Creator. By consciously utilizing the power of I Am, we align ourselves with the infinite power and wisdom of the Divine. It is through this alignment that we become one with God, and it is in this oneness that we find our truest and highest expression of ourselves. Therefore, being one with God is not only the ultimate goal, but it is also the majority, for it is through this divine connection that we can fulfill our highest potential and purpose in life. One must comprehend the immense power and intrinsic worth embedded within this sacred name, which should never be wielded to vocalize negative decrees or falsehoods. Rather, it ought to be harnessed as a force for benevolence, enabling the transformation of unfavorable situations and the honest expression of veracity. It is crucial to remember that truth is a fundamental facet of the divine, and accordingly, the use of this name should always be grounded in positivity and goodness. We can see the power of I Am in the Gospel of John, one of the most grandiose verses in the Bible, but also one of the least understood. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Word in this case is the first person, I am. By consciously and intentionally using the powerful phrase, I am, which represents the divine presence of God within us, we can tap into the unlimited potential of our being and align ourselves with the universal consciousness that flows through all of creation. Through this alignment, we can manifest positive change and transformation, not only in our own lives, but also in the world around us. This simple yet profound verb is what the Logos refers to as the Creator, who wields it with full awareness of the tremendous power it contains. When we use this phrase, we are affirming our connection to the source of all existence and claiming our place as co-creators of our reality. As we become more conscious of the power of I am, we can use it to transcend limiting beliefs and negative patterns that hold us back from living our fullest potential. With every conscious use of I am, we are raising our vibration and contributing to the collective evolution of humanity. When we use this phrase with intention and purpose, we tap into the infinite potential of God's creative force and become one with God in the very moment and place where we use it. Nothing in the universe can deny compliance with the command we issue through the I am statement, which is why the verse proclaims that it is with God, it is God. To fully appreciate the significance of this concept, we are encouraged to read the whole chapter so that we may gain a deeper understanding of how an individual's thoughts, feelings, writings, or spoken words that begin with I am can shape and transform their reality. Immediately, the utterance of I am awakens and captures the attention of the vital energy within oneself and all that surrounds it. It seems as though the entire universe pauses at this signal, preparing to shape and manifest what comes next. This is because I am is a sacred phrase, a signal established since ancient times to indicate to the vital energy that the moment has come to create, to bring into existence something by the will of each individual who is a child of God. There is no greater teacher than one's own experience, as it is through our experiences that we learn, grow, and create. The power of I am lies in the understanding that we are the co-creators of our reality, 
that we have the power to manifest our desires and intentions through the signals we send to the vital energy around us. With this knowledge, we can harness the power of creation and work towards realizing our true potential as the children of the divine. You all know that every time you perform a treatment, every time you achieve a true miracle, I tell you not to mention the problem or the cured situation or illness again. All beginners, when giving thanks for the treatment, start counting and commenting again, because you cannot imagine how it was, and they proceed to reconstruct the facts that we have just undone. They enjoy reconstructing. This will explain why there are relapses in both problems and illnesses. You have to break the habit of going back to your old ways. They're going to tell me the same thing as always, but it's just so difficult to break a habit. And what fault do I have that it's difficult? Of course it's difficult because it's a habit, but we have to break it. To make it easier for you, I'll give you a soothing balm. In fact, this is the way to prevent the problem from getting worse. As you may recall, Jesus told every healed person, go and sin no more, or something worse may happen to you. When we achieve a magnificent result with the help of a conscious teacher or disciple, it's because there has been a very good process. It is a common observation that beginners, in their initial stages of learning, tend to harbor an abundance of closed-minded concepts and ideas that are heavily laden with ignorance. It is a natural human tendency to face setbacks and relapses in various aspects of our lives, such as experiencing the return of a problem that was previously resolved or the recurrence of an illness that had been significantly cured or improved. When such an event occurs, it becomes evident that something has gone wrong and the root cause must be identified and addressed appropriately in order to prevent future occurrences. Then say the following prayer or affirmation without repeating it because it is tremendously powerful. I am the resurrection and the life of the constructive decree I made regarding this situation. I forgive myself for this relapse. I am the law of forgiveness and the transmuting flame of all the mistakes committed by me and by all humanity. Thank you, Father, for hearing me, and I cannot stress enough how important it is to be mindful of your words and your decrees. After pronouncing the holy and magical, extremely powerful, I am, I am the resurrection and the life of all the glory and goodness that I knew with the Father before this world existed. Thank you again, and much success in your manifestations. In conclusion, the power of I am cannot be underestimated in achieving transformation and personal growth. It represents the divine presence of God within us and aligning ourselves with the infinite power and wisdom of the divine. By consciously using this phrase with intention and purpose, we can tap into the unlimited potential of our being and become co-creators of our reality. However, it is crucial to remember to use it only for good, grounded in positivity and goodness. Let us harness the power of I am to manifest positive change and transformation in our lives and the world around us. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more enlightening content.